kill. Apologies for the wait. I hope I haven't called you away from anything important. I chanced upon some commissioned items at my destination, so I thought I might deliver them. Where did you go, if I may ask? The New World. Tural. You went to Tural? Then the person who you wish to introduce... Aye, she hails from there. I present to you... <laughs> but it seems you've lost her. Did she wander off? <sighs> sorry, sorry. It's just so different here. I can't help but want to explore. Well, while you were exploring, your candidate came to us. This is him. The adventurer you crossed the seas to meet. Ooh, you weren't exaggerating. It's playing he's no ordinary man. I'm Wutlamat, claimant to the throne of Tulihuela. Tulihuela? It's Tural's governing nation. The capital bears the same name. I'll get to the point. I want you to come with me to my homeland. Given the magnitude of the request, perhaps you should explain why you're making it? <laughs> of course, of course. Soon, an event of great import will be held in Turel. The Rite of Succession. Taking the form of a contest, it will determine who next ascends the throne. As daughter to its present keeper, I will participate. And I have every intention of winning. I was searching for champions to join me when Aaronville told me about you. A mighty warrior who knows no fear, who sweeps aside terrible fiends as if they were reeds, who flew to the edge of existence and saved our star. She asked who Eorzea's greatest hero was, and so I told her. Much more elegantly, I might add. Now you know why. You'll come to Toral, yes? Wait, let's all just slow down. Wuklamat, was it? You claim to be of the royal family, but is it not the Mamulja who rule in Tural? Tulihyolal is a nation of many peoples. Not only the Mamulja, as some across the seas are quick to assume. That said, its present ruler is a Mamulja. And one blessed with two heads, besides. He's also my father. Not by blood, obviously. But he raised me as his own. And that's what matters. So that is the way of it. My apologies if I was indelicate. Hardly. I know little about your land, and nothing about your parentage. Ah, but in my eagerness, I've gotten ahead of myself. I can't expect you to agree on this spot when we've only just met. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Just know, though, that if it's adventure you seek, you can do far worse than come with me. No, this is only a rumor. But apparently, the contest will involve the fabled city of gold and the legendary beast, Valiarmanda. 
tell me that doesn't pique your interest. So the tales have reached even these shores. I <laughs> can't help but feel proud. I advise you not to put much store by these rumors. Golden cities are not but a dreamer's fancy. Says the dreamer who was bent on finding one when he was a child. Just because you failed doesn't mean it doesn't exist. and the Golden City. Just like in the letter to Grandfather. Regardless of what the contest may entail, it'll be no simple thing. If I'm to triumph, I'll need capable and dependable companions. So let's go on a hunt together. There's no better way to get acquainted.
From here, we must walk. So much ice. It rivals even Yoktural. Ooh, a white bear. I wonder what it tastes like. Remember, we're here to deal with creatures that have been deemed an unacceptable danger. Do not attack anything else unprovoked. I know, I know. So this is the isle where Aether literally bursts forth. Aye, the Isle of Ham. The geysers lie deep inland, however. You really are knowledgeable. Kona told me nothing about this place. I doubt your brother managed to come out this way. He's like to have toured facilities like Labyrinthos, however. The great big cavern under the city. It's amazing that they could make a sky down there complete with a sun. This brother of yours, he has been to Charlian. He has. Kono's my second older brother, and until recently he was a student in this city. He went on and on about technological amusements. It made me want to come here too one day. And so I did. I think I understood something of how he felt when I set foot in his beloved studium. He went to the studium? Your brother must be quite a scholar. But I wonder, like you, he'd be royalty, yes? With such a personage coming to Charlian to receive an education would surely have caused a stir, yet I recall nothing of the sort. He consulted with the head of the studium beforehand that his identity might remain secret. Being Mikote, he had no trouble blending in. He's adopted like me, you see. One time, though, he almost let it slip to a professor. It was all he could do to parry the barrage of questions. Having no shortage of questions myself, I can imagine. Ask whatever you like. I don't mind. But I maintain hunting together is the best way to get to know someone. The researchers should be up ahead. Let's find them and learn what we can. The researchers should be just ahead. There, the building to the northeast. So ordinarily harmless creatures have grown savage. Don't know what's got them riled up, but I'll take down any that thinks to try me. Right, let's hunt our field. Someone's in trouble. Yeah, taste my ass. These animals are usually so docile.
really are famous. And for good reason, as you'll soon see for yourself. <laughs> Quite an interesting contraption you've got here. Is that our petitioner? Let's go and have a chat. this. seen their like before. <laughs> it's starting to feel like a proper hunt. or the prey. So, how do you prefer our prey? Roasted or raw? You presume it's even safe to eat? Still fresh. Whatever this beast, it cannot be far. Or sharp talons <laughs> worthy prey
it's heading towards the falls. I'll stay with the researchers. The creature, I leave to you. Come, Wurklamat. Right. Clear. I wasn't startled by the beast earlier. It caught me by surprise, that's all. Forgive me, but I failed to see a difference. I'm getting hungry. Let's be done with this so we can eat. Caught me by surprise! Caught me by surprise! <laughs> <sighs> Think you're clever, huh? I'll rip off that beak and roast you on a spit!
nothing to it. Everything you have on it. And I had barely limbered up. <laughs> it was a terrible foe, but no match for your axe. O only to be expected. You were pretty impressive yourselves. I was right to invite you on a hunt. But what a curious bird that was. Though we have similar in Tural, they don't grow so big or use such dirty tricks. Dirty tricks? Dirty tricks? <laughs> Aye, dirty and despicable. Otherwise, I could have... easily... Leave this to me! Terribly sorry to have kept you all waiting. She arrived as I was seeing the researchers to safety. It was all I could do to keep up with her after I explained what happened. So this is what you meant by seeing to preparations? After hearing of the contest, I thought how wonderful it would be to join you. In coming here, I wanted to demonstrate my skill at arms to Wuklamat. Alas, it seems I missed most of the action. <gasps> that was amazing! The piece didn't stand a chance! I'm glad to have been of service. May I ask what inspired this change? You will recall the time you descended to the Ethereal Sea in search of Hydaelyn. Recognizing that my skills were... <sighs> inadequate, I chose to provide support from afar rather than join you. It was the same when you set forth for Ultima Thule. How it pained me to stay behind, again and again. That's what inspired this change. Ever since the final days were averted, I've used every spare moment to hone my craft. As you all have adapted your methods to suit the circumstances, I started by considering how I might best contribute. And after much deliberation, I arrived at my answer. With the esoteric art passed down by the legendary Archon Realm, 
Pictomancy. As I recall, you have embraced versatility to effectively complement a certain someone's style. What I do is much the same. Like you, I don't want to be left behind. <laughs> Indeed. I must say, you appear to be especially keen on being involved in the Ritual of Succession. Is there any particular reason? Yes, there is. This letter from Tuli Yolal. It was addressed to my grandfather Galuf, and turned up among the students' archives. The ink was faded, so I couldn't fully make out the sender's name. A... Uh, Galul, someone. Jaja. Galul Jaja. That's my father, the Don's servant. What does the letter say? While much of it isn't legible, it appears to be a request to investigate the Golden City. A request to investigate the Golden City? From the Dawn Servant himself? Well, well. Seems it may be more than a rumor after all. Being a member of the royal family, it was my hope that you could confirm the authenticity of this letter. I can say for a fact that my father didn't write this. Given how culturally diverse Tuliyolal is, it was decided some time ago that a common language was needed. But instead of elevating an existing tongue, and its speakers above all others, we looked to those widely spoken overseas and created an altogether new one. The similarities to your common tongue also make it quite easy to communicate in these situations, no? This letter, however, is entirely in Eorzean. If father had written this, he would have been in Turali. And what's more? It bears a wax seal. We don't bother with them. So the letter is fraudulent, then? Oh, I didn't mean to say that. My father's signature is genuine, as far as I can tell, so perhaps he simply dictated it. I see. Oh, thank you for the confirmation. It seems my grandfather indeed had dealings with Tuli Yolal. I can't help but be curious as to what exactly he was doing there. In order to help us decide on a course of action, would you mind if I asked you some questions about your home? By all means. After all, Learning about one another was the purpose of this hunt. We can talk while feasting on this fellow. I, for one, am starving. We're eating... that.
come. Let's enjoy the bounty of our first outing together. Mm. I'd heard that Charlayan cuisine was terrible, but this is fantastic. What is this? Oh, it smells spicy. Oh, come now. Since when did you become so soft? It's not like we don't have spicy food in Tural, too. According to Dickon, intensely hot dishes have become popular in Razadhan after a traveler ordered a curry with several times the usual amount of spice. So he started offering the same in order to please the growing Harnish population here in Charlian. manners reflect poorly on the both of us. I wish you would consider your station. I swear, sometimes it feels like you open your mouth only to criticize. Would I be correct in assuming you've known each other for a long time? I thick as thieves since we were little. I beg to differ. She is a long-standing acquaintance. Nothing more. <laughs> I see. I see. All this time you were from Tural. Oh, would that I had known sooner. There's so much I'd like to ask. You and everyone else. I've kept it quiet so as to avoid the endless interrogations. Well, if he's going to be a miser, I'll be happy to tell you about our homeland instead. Since ancient times, many peoples have called Tural home, and they've been fighting each other for nearly as long. The fighting finally stopped some 80 years ago, when the reigning Dawn Servant unified the disparate communities and founded a new nation. And that's how Tuliolal came to be. Since then, we've enjoyed an era of uninterrupted peace. But my father is getting old, and he wishes to relinquish the throne to a worthy successor. One who can preserve his legacy. Including myself, there are four claimants to the throne. But while we all have the right to participate, one among us cannot be allowed to rule. A man who is too ambitious by half. Word of the Garlean Empire's collapse has reached Tural. While most are simply relieved, he sees weakness to exploit and would lead our armies across the seas on a campaign of conquest. After everything my father has done to give us peace, he would drag us back into war. I can't allow it. No matter what, I must win this contest. I understand your reasons. But this being an event that will dictate the course of your nation's future, 
Is it appropriate for outsiders like us to be involved? Oh, it's more than appropriate. The Dawn Servant himself expressly encourages it. The ruler of Tural must navigate the intricacies of myriad cultures, and there's no better way to prove oneself qualified to do so than to work with foreign allies. That's why I sought you out. Through our hunt, I've confirmed that you're a warrior of considerable skill, but more importantly, one of good character as well. And so I ask you, will you lend me your strength and help me win the throne of Tuli Hualal? You don't need to decide right this moment. But I will need you if I'm to triumph over the competition. I'll stay here as long as I can while waiting for your answer. In that case, allow us to prepare a room for you at the Baldessian Annex. That's very kind of you. Oh, and one more thing. Once we finish eating, would you mind if I took the rest of the meat?
It's just... Despite all that we've learned, I can't help but feel we've yet to hear the whole story. What about you, my friend? Are you inclined to accept or refuse Wurklamat's request? I thought you might say that. With an intrepid attitude such as yours, I believe all shall be well. Be it the contest or something else, there will be many trials for you to overcome at your destination. But in the course of seeing new lands and meeting new people, you'll surely find a way forward. That's what adventurers do, is it not? Such a journey would be the envy of many a scholar. Distant as it is, Tural remains largely unknown to us, with only meager records to be found in Numenon. The experiences to be had, all the things you might hear, feel, and think. It's enough to stir me to the core. Life is a series of journeys, my friend, and there's no telling what awaits us on the long road. But what's important is to be true to yourself as you walk it. Only then can we hope to be content when we arrive at the end of one and step forward into another. Ah, but there's an idea. I have a matter to attend to at the Agora. Please, go on inside. I will join you shortly. You have the look of someone who's made up their mind. Go on, then. Let's hear it. <laughs> Excellent. You'll be compensated for your troubles, of course. 
but I dare say your time in Turov be its own reward. You're not planning to leave without us, are you? Alpha no, Alize! What are you two doing here? We happened to cross paths at Numenon earlier, you see, and I told them about Wuklamat. And when we fortuitously met again at the Agora just now, they expressed an interest in meeting our visitor. Ah, you must be the twins who are sneaking after Erinvilla's toads! A hundred things about us you could have told her. And you chose that! First impressions last. Tis an honor and a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Your Highness. Alphano Levier at your service. And this is my sister, Alize. Oh no, let's not do that. I really can't stand titles. So, you want to participate in the contest too, is that right? Indeed we do. We've been assisting with the rebuilding effort in Garlemald. Yet while progress is being made, the question remains of how the nation might reconcile with its neighbors. We believe there is much we might learn from Tuliolal, a nation founded on unity. And in return for this honor, we would spare no effort in supporting your claim. The more the merrier, I say. And I'd be keen to learn about Eorzea and Garlemald from you as well. Having recruited so many committed and capable allies, I presume you have no need for my continued assistance? Nonsense! Like I told you before, you're indispensable. They're strong, eh? But strangers to our land. They need someone to guide them. To point out the dangers and spare them grisly deaths. I can't think of anyone better suited to that task than you. What's more, despite your assertions, I know you haven't given up on this city of gold. As I recall, Kryon, you were the first to state your desire to visit Tural. Perhaps I was. Still, I can't help but worry about being away just when our order is beginning to find its feet again. You have nothing to worry about. I haven't forgotten how you held the fort while I set off to explore Alzadel's legacy. It's only fair that I return the favor. Pray, leave the students to Ojika and me. But, Raha... You want to retrace your grandfather's steps, don't you? This is a rare opportunity, and I insist that you seize it. Thank you, Raha. Thank you. Well, looks like it's settled. I'm counting on you all to help me win the throne. I suppose now is a good time to show you what I spent a small fortune on at the Agora. There.
This, my friends, is the latest map of the world, created to celebrate our friendship with the Loperitz. Cast your eyes west of Charlian, for there it lies. The site of your next great adventure, Tural.
When does the next ship set sail? May I ask your destination? The north and east, I've already seen. I suppose I'll head west this time. West, you say? I see you've made up your mind. I had a feeling you'd be keen. But to think that our comrades too are thither bound. Fate doth work in mysterious ways. Indeed. It will be a grueling task having to contend with them. If the prospect doth trouble thee, it is not too late to decline the petition. Though thine expression would suggest thou art far from perturbed. Oh, how could I possibly be, knowing what's to come? <laughs> Then let us delay no further and secure passage on a vessel. Aye, this will be a mission to remember. Come, my friend, we make for Torah. Tell me, have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the Bounty? Or the treasure islands beyond the frozen waters of Blind Frost in Offerd's North? The fabled golden cities of the New World? 